Hey Scott, good to see you. Uh, you know, look, there's a lot of a lot of moving parts. Things are moving very quickly, obviously, but big picture, um, you know, we're we're kind of targeting the December lows near term, which are on 37.75 in the S&P 500. Um, but ultimately, we you know we continue to expect those October lows to to break. And you know, I think um, one thing to know uh, last week on Sunday was the five month anniversary of the October bottom. And so we looked back throughout history and, and looked at all bull mar new bull markets and how they perform five months later. The average return off of the uh, bottom five months later is about 31 percent back to 1928. We we're only up eight percent, which if that October low was the final low, would make it the third weakest uh, bull market start in history. So we think it's, you know, while it's possible, it's more likely that, um, you know, those do get broken, especially when we look at, you know, all the all the different cross asset classes that we continue to monitor and, and look at a weight of the evidence approach. If you if people agree with you and think we are going to go back to the October lows, what what leads us down? What sector would you be fading more than any other right now? You know, it's interesting. There's been a massive reversal in the value to growth um, trade as the narrative has quickly switched from inflation concerns to economic concerns. And I think that's pretty typical. Um, you know, as you get into uh, bear markets, you uh, get a reversion as, as, as the long end of the yield curve moves down, anticipating slower economic growth, you get, um, you know, some underperformance in the value areas and you get some relative outperformance in growth. So, you know, that that makes sense. I think here and now, um, in the near term, I think the the rotation and the growth is probably overdone. Um, so we've been highlighting the semis. They're, they're still up 17, 18 percent on the year. Um, they seem like a good fade to us here. Um, but then you look structurally and, you know, you've had some some pretty ugly reversals in areas like materials and industrials, which, you know, just a few weeks ago were showing you know multi relative highs and they've quickly given that back so it just goes to show in bear markets things move fast you got to stay on your toes um, but we don't think that anything really you know survives in absolute terms it's really just a relative game does this breakout in gold have have more legs and if so how much yeah you know gold it's been a frustrating trade um, you know it tends to trade very strongly inversely to the US dollar but um, you know, today, look at gold up with the dollar up as well. So it's acting really like a risk off asset. Um, and you, you know, you look at the kind of the structural picture for gold. We, we basically had three years of basing. Um, and now you have the other thing gold trades very strongly with are real rates. So real rates are starting to fall. That should benefit gold. Uh, we think it gets that 2000 level. If it takes out 2000, you're talking about a pretty nice multi year breakout. So I do think gold um, is worth is worth holding here.